everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the bag I have sold before and the reason why I decided to sell them. The first bag that I would like to talk about is Louis Vuitton Purchase Matisse. I know this bag is very popular among luxury bags lovers. It is really pretty. I really love it. I love the design. I love structure bag. And when I look at the Instagram of people who carry it, it's kind of very chic and very very cool ways of carry it and I can't I don't know I cannot find others that is look as nice as this one and that is probably the reason that I decided to go for it and buy it I think I own this bag for around um, three to four years but then not seldom I seldom reached out to it and therefore I decided to sell it off the reason is because first I realized that it doesn't go well with my corset. It's not about the colors, but it's about the style. The bag goes so well with the fashion with coat, you know, winter fashion, or if you wear coat and you wear LV Pachette Matisse, I feel this goes so well together. But when I wear it together with my, you know, casual weekend in summer, um, fashion or something like that, it seems it doesn't really goes well with it. It's just my own opinion. The second reason is that the bag itself is a little heavy. It's not light. I think probably the third reason is how it gets older. The lining ar around there is easy to peel off, but it takes some time. It also depends on how you take care of it. But for me, I seldom reach out to it. But I just, I kind of noticed that the lining is peeled off a little. And the canvas at the opening part, I think it starts to tear for a little, but it doesn't tear, like you seriously tear at the moment. But I can feel that something is going on. And I feel that, okay, in the long term, that I didn't get to use that much, you know, then it's more worth it to hand to somebody who want to use it more than me and that is more worth you know the, the money that's how i feel the second bag that i have sold is chanel classic medium flap i know you guys love it i do love it too and that is why i want to invest in it it looks pretty luxury investment there's a few reasons around here that i decided to buy chanel medium flap but when I really own it, I seldom use it at all. The Chanel bag is in lambskin and make it really difficult to take care of. I realized that I'm not the person who baby the bag that much. I tend to concern and worry a lot when I use it. Where are I going to place it? Did I scratch it? Did I today did i have any additional scratches i'm really really worried so i suddenly reached out to it because i'm scared that it's gonna have more defects another point is that for this size uh, chanel classics medium flap it is is not light the bag it has its own weight for a little and once you put everything inside even though you are i am not a lot because the bag is not big i feel it's kind of heavy after a while when carry on the shoulder i feel my shoulder kind of pain the third reason is the flap the design of the flap itself the flap itself has a lot of scratches because i have to open it and there's scratches inside because you know you open one and then you have to open the flap again in order to get something inside i feel it's uh, difficult to get things and also that at the same time has uh, a few scratches in the future i want to go for uh, the chanel classic flap i have my eyes on a chanel classic flap in small size I think the space shouldn't be very much different in terms of fitting things and I'm gonna go for a caviar leather and probably in beige or in black. 
third bag. <laughs> Next one is a Saint Laurent Sac du Jour. I have an idea to sell it off for um, for a while, but make a decision to sell it off this year because I didn't go to office anymore. And I forgot to tell you that I use this bag a lot for for work because the size is medium size and it's not. It's a quiet bag, it's not loud. There's no, the logo is not so obvious. The logo is very little in front, center wrong. If you look from afar, you won't really see it easily. Now I come to the cons of the bag and leads to the reason that I decided to sell it off. The bag is always open all the time. And if you live in a country or any place that is not secure, this one is very risky. Most of the time I would put my scarf cover it or my cardigan cover it so that it won't be obvious if not people can look into your bag and everyone will see your wallet your phone every single thing in your bag because the bag is very open the third reason is because the change uh, from working in the office to working from home i can see the future that um I'll be likely to work from home more than going to office so i decided to let go one of my work bag which is um this one for this bag is mulberry alexa i sort of see people carry them recently but mulberry is a my favorite favorite brand ever and i love the design of mulberry alexa very much it is a slouchy bag no structure but it fits a lot and i love the oak i love the oak color but when I have it, I travel for my trips a few times and I start to see that there's something that I dislike about. The first thing that I don't like about the bag is the leather. Because this is leather, I feel it's hard to take care of. Not about the scratches, but I totally kind of forget, I should do enough research, I kind of forget that even though no scratches, but the leather is easily prone to stain as in I brought this bag with me when I traveled to Japan and it was raining and when I came back to the hotel I spot quite a big water stain uh, at the bottom of my bag and I feel like wow this is so easy and I don't know how to remove it you know it just stain like that like forever the second reason is that um, you might notice the strap is very long it's way too long for me it's go very low and that was the shortest strap uh, already that's the shortest i can't adjust to i feel it's too long for me my height is 160 cm but if you are shorter than me i still do not really recommend for the height because even for myself i feel it's too long the third reason is the bag is not light it has a lot of weight in it the leather is not heavy but the handle the hardware and all that combined is heavy and when you put stuff inside is a lot more heavy and if i want to go for um Marbury alexa again i'm gonna go for the option of the smaller size now they have quite a lot of colors to choose from i just want to share that i really like the purple color but i don't know that will the same problems will happen and how often i gonna use this bag oh so guys that is all the bag that i have sold and the reason why i used to love it and decided to sell them off at the end i hope you find this video useful where um just in case you decide you want to buy one of them and i hope it helps in terms of your decision making if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and then i see you again next time bye